Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here representing AnalyticsCourse.net. And today I want to talk about something that almost every one of my Google Analytics students asks me at one point in time. And that is, they understand that Google Analytics is great for tracking things that are happening online on your website. But then when I tell them they can actually track offline activity within Google Analytics, their eyes light up and they say, oh wow, I didn't know I could do that. And they get pretty excited. I show them how it works. And in this video, I want to show you how it works as well. So stick around and I'm going to show you exactly how you can track offline activities driven to your website within Google Analytics. And while we're at it, we continue to celebrate T-Shirt Week and this is one of my all-time favorites. Hopefully you enjoy it. If you do enjoy it, make sure you leave a comment on this video on YouTube. So let's talk about Google Analytics offline tracking. And I'm going to start out with a question. True or false, Google Analytics is an internet-only tracking tool, meaning it can only track activity that happens on the internet, and it can't track anything that happens offline. It can't track anything that's not wired to a computer. True or false? I would say the answer is false, and that is because you can track things that are not connected to a computer as long as those things trigger somebody to use a computer or a mobile device to visit a website. While we like to think of Google Analytics as something that runs on our website, you can actually use it to track offline ads and any kind of offline situation that's happening on your website as well. And that's pretty cool, right? A lot of people don't realize that you can track offline activities that are driven to your website within Google Analytics. For example, you can track type-in traffic that comes from your vanity URLs and your campaign, and you can even track phone calls as well. So how does this work? We got a question in our analytics course forums from Belladonna, and she wants to know, I'm really interested in tracking offline, direct mail, and phone calls. Is it possible to get more information on those specifically? So to answer Belladonna's question and to help you out as well, we are gonna spend the rest of this video talking about tracking offline activities like direct mail inside of Google Analytics. So how do we do this? Step one, create your vanity URL. So for example, here we have jefflytics.com slash YouTubers. This is a vanity URL, a brand new URL that I'm creating just for people who are watching this video on YouTube. They can go to this URL and they can see what we've done with the vanity URL. Step two, create your final destination page. In this case, we are gonna to go to the jefflytics.com slash 90 day challenge page. This is actually where people go to in order to sign up for our 90 day challenge. So one of our calls to action, whether it's on YouTube or on our website or through email, is to go to this page and to sign up for our 90 day challenge videos. So this is our final destination URL, and this is where we wanna send people as our call to action at the end of any one of our videos or through an email, whatever medium we send them to, this is our final destination page. Step three, add UTM parameters to your destination URL. And so the way that you do this is you go to Google's campaign URL builder, which is located in the link below, and then you can put in your final destination page under your website URL. You can put the campaign source, the medium and the name of the campaign right into this tool and it's going to generate a URL you can use to track things that are happening on your website. Now you can see here I goofed around a little bit and I said okay well they're going to mention Jefflytics in the Garfield comics of our local newspaper. This is an offline medium or I could put newspaper if I wanted to and the campaign is called Hey YouTubers and this is how I know that my campaign to you on YouTube got triggered and went to my website. And so this is how campaign URLs work. If you want a really comprehensive and thorough understanding of how this works, you definitely want to check out our analytics course where we have an entire video just on how to build these URLs and how they pertain to the traffic that comes into your website. Once you're done with your parameters, you can generate a URL and then copy that URL to your clipboard and you're good to go. And you're ready to send people to this final destination website. And for that to happen, you need to do step four, which is to set up a redirection from your vanity URL to your final URL. Now this might sound complicated, but I'm gonna show you how easy it is. Now in my website, I use WordPress for my host. I have a 301 redirect, as you can see on the left-hand side, which is a permanent redirect from the URL slash YouTubers on the Jefflytics domain. That sends people to the URL that I copied from the Google Analytics URL builder. And that is jefflytics.com slash 90 day challenge. And then it says it's coming from the Garfield comics. It's offline and the campaign is, hey, YouTubers, what's up? So that's all that we need to do. And whenever somebody goes to jefflytics.com slash YouTubers, they're going to go to the proper URL on the Jefflytics website. And not only that, we're going to track it in Google Analytics. Now, to make sure that we are tracking properly in Google Analytics, we're talking about step five here, which is verify in your real time reports in Google Analytics that this is all working. And so what I did is I went into the real-time report inside of Google Analytics, 
and I made sure that my offline URL of slash YouTubers was working properly. I typed in jefflytics.com slash YouTubers as you might want to do yourself, and it went in there and it said that it was coming from offline through the Garfield comics, and all was good in my world. I proved that this thing was working, and if you click on this link too, it's gonna work. It's gonna screw up all my traffic in Google Analytics. Gonna be a bunch of people coming in from the Garfield comics, but that's cool because then I know that you're watching this video and you're following along and you understand how offline tracking works. Like I said, this is pretty cool, isn't it? Basically, you just redirect one URL to another one and it's suddenly tracking in Google Analytics and you can use the real-time report to make sure it's working and you can check it out in real time, make sure you didn't screw anything up. Because if this is a new concept to you, you might be a little scared. No reason to be scared. You can test it all right out there in Google Analytics in their real-time reports. Now, the other question Belladonna had was, what about phone call tracking in Google Analytics? Well, I can tell you that's pretty easy to do as well. So what you want to do is you want to go to the Google Analytics Partners Gallery at the URL below. And then when you're in the gallery, you can choose phone call tracking as a type of app you'd like to look at. And once you get into the phone call tracking, you can evaluate the available options. And at the time I record this video, there's 29 of these tools available. So I'm not going to go into a thorough analysis of each one of these things. I'm just going to let you know that you have a lot of options that you can evaluate for your business. Now, choose a provider, look at them, read their materials, see how much it costs. I just chose the first one on the list. See how their Google Analytics integration works. And if you're good to go and if you like what you see from that provider, you can sign up with them and you can start tracking your phone calls right inside of Google Analytics. A lot of these integrations are very simple to understand. A couple clicks away, enter your credit card, pay for these tools, and you are tracking in Google Analytics. Now, there might be some free solutions out there. I'll leave it up to you to do your due diligence and your research and see what options are best for you. Like I said, I just clicked on the first one. I'm not recommending a specific vendor here, but if you do have questions about certain vendors, definitely make sure you leave us a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So going back to how we started this video, Google Analytics can track that. Pretty much anything you can dream, any type of traffic source that drives somebody to your website, Google Analytics can track that. So are you amazed? Are you stumped? Not sure how this all works? Make sure you leave a comment on our YouTube channel or on this post at analyticscourse.net. And while you're at it, join our free Google Analytics mini course. You can learn from the ground up how much we love Google Analytics, why we think it's really important that you get certified, and just hear my voice a little bit more and hear more from me in this wild world of internet marketing. You can do that at analyticscourse.net.